I'm standing here with Ernst von Weischecker, lead author of the influential book Factor 5 and currently co-chairs the International Resource Panel of the United Nations Environment Programme. Mr. Weischecker, tell us about the Kuznet curve and why decarbonization is not enough. Uh, we have the so-called Kuznet curve of local pollution. Countries start poor and clean, then they industrialize, bec become rich and dirty, and then they are rich enough to take care of local pollution control, ending up rich and clean, if the upside direction is pollution. So, low pollution, wealth. This is a fabulous paradigm, also for developing countries. Now, for carbon, we so far have not reached anything of the kind. So far, more wealth means more carbon dioxide. So we have to create that Kuznets curve as well. And in addition, we also need to help developing countries tunnel through that curve to become rich and carbon lean uh, without first becoming rich and carbon dirty. Uh, you spoke about the two dragons earlier. Uh, what are these two dragons? One is the familiar so-called um, Jevons paradox that efficiency often leads to more consumption because efficiency is elegant and attractive and the other dragon is that all the existing measures to curb global warming have not led to a net reduction of uh, carbon dioxide this is a finding of an uh, UNCTAD study by Ulrich Hoffmann, and we have to see the facts and then respond politically. And my idea is essentially to say the past has been characterized by essentially falling energy and resource prices. Now we better let energy and resource prices increase so that additional efficiency makes you wealthier but makes you not consume more energy. If these energy prices do go up, who will be the winners and who will be the losers? Well, that depends of course on who gets the money from rising energy prices. I don't mind the OPEC countries getting part of it. Why shouldn't they? But also the states in Europe, Asia, etc., Africa, should collect taxes and get part of the revenues, which is very important for them. And then, if we manage to have prices rising, you will see elegant, sophisticated technologies, crafts, education, culture winning and old-fashioned dinosaur technologies losing. Thank you so much, Mr. Weishecker. <laughs>